Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to join your personal device to Microsoft Intune or Azure Active Directory. So if you are working for a company, sometimes your company allows you to actually join your personal device to their company portal like the Microsoft Intune, which allows them to actually control your device and also secure your device, deploy software or company's applications to your device. So if I go to my Windows Start menu and I click Settings, and on our Settings, if I go to System, click About, and let me just go to the Advanced System Settings and click Computer Name. So you can see that this device actually belongs to a work group. And if I go back again, you can see I here I have your Domain Controller, and I have also my C001. This is actually a Windows 11 device. So what I want to do right now, actually join this device to um, Azure Active Directory and also Microsoft Intune. So what you need to do is actually go to Microsoft Store and then we need to do the following. Just actually just type portal. You can see we have the company portal. So just click on that. And then click get. So right now it says use across the device. We can just click no to actually start the installation process. So you don't actually need to um, have um, an account for you to be able to actually install the company portal. So let's just wait for this to get installed. So now let's launch the company portal. You can see, see this product is installed. So as the product is trying to, the app is trying to launch, if I go to uh, Azure Active Directory Admin Center, you can see we only have three devices here as a C001, the DC, my domain control, and my Azure um, Active Directory Connect server. So, but if I go to, well, this device is just, let me just show you the host name of this device. You can see that's a C002. So we are not seeing this at, at this device here at this moment. So let's try to actually log on and register to this device. So I'm going to be using the following name, that is thomas.james at Gelf Global 3. Dot on Microsoft.com. Hit enter and then enter your password and hit enter. So you just click OK. And mind you, if I go back again to my Office 365 here, you can see we have some users actually because and mind you, the user should actually be assigned the license to be able to use Microsoft Intune. If not, the user will not be able to actually sign, um, log on to this device. You can see we have Thomas James here, which of course have the license to use Intune. So let me just go back again to our portal. So you are all set, let's just click done. So now by logging on to this device, you can see it says Kel Global ICT. And mind you, it says this device has not been set up for corporate use yet. So there's the following. First of all, if I go back again to my, let me just go back to my Azure Active Directory and do a refresh. By doing a refresh, you can see that the device C002, which actually registered by Thomas James, just appeared here. You can see it says Azure AD registered compared to the others which are hybrid Azure AD joined and if we go back again by not doing this this device which are actually not be enrolled in microsoft intune so if we go to intune and do a refresh we are not going to see, we are not going to see this device yet so what we need to do right now is to actually complete the full list following here you can see that we need to actually add corporate account to this device so let's just click next for that and then click connect so we need to actually use the same credentials we use, which have the license to use Intune as a Thomas.James and then click Next. Then now we need to enter our password. Let's just enter our password right now. And then click Sign In. I just accept Yes. So you can see it says, hold on while we register this device to company and apply policies. So set, set, setting up your device, it will take a few minutes. So this will actually take some time for this to get registered. And you can see it's waiting for your device to connect to work. Feel free to leave the screen and check back later. So this will actually take some time saying your device is now connected to work. Select next. Let me just go next. 
and you can see it says add corporate account to this device connect this this device to work is done and then i just click ok right now you can see can access company resources say it's never checked so this is actually going to take some time before it can get ready to start in microsoft intune so if i go back let me just go back again to my microsoft um endpoint manager and do a refresh so it's going to take some time but let's go back again to azure active directory and here let's do some refresh you can see it says look compared to others which are not yet registered uh, on um, mdm like the mobile device management intune you can see it says under the scissors row to it says microsoft intune which means that this device is now azure Adobe registered and also microsoft intune registered but it's going to take some minutes and some time before it got um before the the, the, the device got displayed here in your endpoint manager Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. And please don't forget to ask any question if you have any question concerning Microsoft Intune and Office 365. Because oh, please, and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. So if, if you have any question, you can always go to my blog, kelvglobal.com and send me a personal email and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and goodbye.